Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. Today I'm working on a project I'm hooking with quilting material. And I'm working on a project that is going to include both quilting fabric and wool. So traditional wool that I dye. The pattern looks like this. It's a very simple pattern. Um, I'll show you other parts of it, of it as, the, as the pattern evolves. But I'm using K-Facet material. So I'm actually pulling from a jelly roll. Uh, if you're a quilter, you already know a jelly roll is like a roll of X amount of strips, right? That are like a standard size. And what I'm doing, the strips are always coming with the zigzag edges for quilters so they don't fray. Um, but what I'm doing as a hooker, planning on hooking with them, is I'm cutting them into smaller strips like this. I'm getting four strips out of each strip of jelly roll. And I'm going to show you how this is working. But you can see in the other room on my work table, I have the quilting rotary cutter and ruler. And I'm just really cutting just the very edges of it off. And then I'm getting four strips, right, down each jelly roll. And I look at my colors. This is all the K-Facet roll, right? So I feel like the colors are already color planned for me because he's the best colorist ever. So you can see I've done quite a bit of it already here. And where the flowers are going to go is the center. I've got it sideways. Um, coming out from the flowers, I've got more purples and blues. And then heading toward the border, I've got my lighter colors. And I'm literally, I've started on this strip already. I'm just hooking it exactly the same way that I would hook a, a piece of wool or yarn or whatever. I'm just pulling up loops and I'm being a little bit careful. And, um, you know, your sizes could vary depending on what you like to look up in terms of pulling it up. It's a little bit thinner, of course, than wool strips. Um, but you can see it really fills in and color wise, it does a really beautiful job. Because fabric, most fabric, this fabric, certainly, with the exception of maybe Kona cotton type fabrics and batiks, most fabrics have a right side and a wrong side because they're printed on one side, right? They're not woven. So most quilt fabrics I'm talking about, um, you have to be careful when you pull up your loops that you're not pulling up the white side because then you're losing all that beautiful color. But uh, at this width, I'm pulling up loops the size that I want for this project, and it's working exactly the same way that it does for rug hooking just pulling up loops and they don't have to be perfect tights, right? Same rule as rug hooking, but you can see within a pretty short time in less than one, far less than one jelly roll, probably three quarters of a jelly roll, I was able to fill in this whole background. So it goes really well. I'm packing a little bit because this is thinner material, but it is super fun being able to use up quilt strips from other projects. I have lots of jelly rolls. Uh, for different holidays, different times, different projects, and lots of jelly roll strips that are kind of orphaned pieces now. I'm right at the very end, you can see here. I am typically leaving my tails down uh, just because it's a little more noticeable, I think, with this project being cotton. It's more noticeable when you see the edges sticking up, right? They're really thin and they, they have potential to look ratty. So I finished that part of the project and you can see the background is in. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, and I'll do this in a future video, is hooking some of my pinks uh, into the flowers. And it's probably going to be like a white vase made of several colors of white. white. And I'm going to attempt to hook in uh, my pre-cut proddy pieces in different leaf shapes, different colors of green, to go along these areas here, like the stem, see? So we'll see how it goes, but it has been a lot of fun hooking with a different material. And for those of you who are magpies and have huge collections and stashes uh, across several different craft mediums, this is perfect for you because you can use up your quilt built bits to work on your rug bits, right? And vice versa. I will see you next time at Ribbon Candy Hooking.